So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how I got into computer science and coding, why I enjoy it so much, and what's next for me in my software engineering journey. Happy Monday, everybody. It is Monday. You already know what that means. I'm posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's Monday. You're expecting a new video. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm not playing with y'all. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kazim, and I post college, programming, and lifestyle videos here on this channel. I post three times a week, so go ahead, subscribe down below, and hit that post notification. So like I said, I'm going to be sharing really, like, how did I even get into coding? Like, what? Like... How did I get into this? Um, you know, I was I was just a hooper. You know, I had hoop dreams. So how am I here now? And I'm gonna be sharing more about, you know, I have a internship coming up at Amazon Software Engineering Internship. So I'm gonna be sharing more about what's next for me. And also really quick before we dive into this video, um, the resume layout that helped me, the resume layout that I made that helped me get these interviews at Amazon, Google, Facebook, Uber, I made the layout and I put the link um, to it in my website so you guys could check it out down in the description. But it's just a free resource that has been helping out a bunch of people. So if you want to check it out, feel free to do that. All right, so this mainly started probably when I was around 12. Um, I wasn't a huge gamer or anything like that, but my dad, he would always see me playing games like Pokemon, you know, just stuff on my DS. And he, I would always ask for games and stuff. It came to a point where he was like, you know, there's people out there making these games somebody has to do it so that was his way of like saying you consuming it you could be the one to actually create it and i was looking at him like no like no that's not really my thing like i didn't really have too much of an interest in it it was fun or whatever but not something that i would actually want to make myself but after him saying stuff like that he did low-key get me into um, scratching the surface with HTML and different stuff like that and just playing around with it and I was like you know this is actually pretty fun this is actually pretty cool you know I'm like 12 at the time playing around with HTML and hello world and I'm like wow this is not too bad I actually enjoy this so that was something that was always in the back of my mind it was like okay there's HTML there's CSS there's these different components and I was like I know this is like kind of coding but then again, I'm like 12, not really focusing on this type of stuff because I was a hooper. So we'll get into that. So I've also played basketball. I've been playing basketball since I was like 10 years old. So that was always something that I enjoyed. You know, I'd be playing with friends. I was playing on a team. It was something that I was really focused on. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to go to the NBA. You know, I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to get offers in high school, all of that. You know, typical, the typical hoop dreams that a lot of black boys have and, um, that was me pretty much that was me not really not really planning the steps as much to get there but just knowing like oh that's something that i want to do down the line and that's kind of where my focus was so my parents you know nigerian parents they were always like okay i'll support you you want to be a hooper that's fine you could hoop but first and foremost you have to focus on your education like that's priority so as i hooped in middle school and you know going into high school hooping better not have any missing assignments your grades better be up stuff like that so that was just like that was first like if i even was gonna hoop at all that had to be like the thing so high school comes i'm grinding you know i'm putting in work i'm playing basketball i'm focusing on school the thought of coding that wasn't even in my life at the moment it was like not even a thing um i was just focusing on what was present what was current it was hoop and school and that was it and being realistic i'm a pretty decent hooper like i'm a pretty i'm above average hooper you know definitely not to my full potential of where i could have gotten in high school but these four years that i'm at this high school i'm putting in work like i'm doing really well so long story short um i've been hooping 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 but didn't really get any offers to go to that next step which is college then to fulfill my hoop dreams of going to the NBA. So like I said, I was going through the motions, but I wasn't really planning it out. Like, I wanna do this, I need to do this, I need to put in this amount of effort, I need to do that. I was working hard in everything, but I didn't have that, I didn't have that, um, I didn't have that grit. That's like, this is, this is my schedule, you know, this is how serious I'm about it. I just wasn't that player, even though I was putting in work, like I don't get me wrong, I still was putting in work and I was doing, doing really well, but I just wasn't that type of player, which looking back on it, I can see that's exactly where I lacked. So I didn't get any offers to any schools that I wanted to go to. Um, it's my senior year, now it's time to apply for colleges, you know what I'm saying? I didn't invest everything, I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. Um, I was still good in academics, I was really good, I was doing extracurricular activities, doing all of that, involved 
all of that stuff. So I'm applying to schools and doing all of that and it's like, okay, but what am I gonna major in? Like, what am I, what am I actually doing here? Like, what is, what is really going on? So that's when I kind of just had to look at my life and think about what actually interests me. What do I actually see myself going to college for? So that interest that I kept with me all the way from when I was 12 is what determined what I would choose for my major. So pretty much I was like, yeah, I know I really enjoyed coding and I really enjoyed, you know, having fun with that stuff. I don't know a lot about it and I pretty much know nothing because at this point, I forgot about the HTML codes that I learned. I forgot about everything. So I'll be starting fresh, but I knew that was something that interests me. So I decided to watch tons of videos, do a lot of research. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think this is this is for me. Like, I'm going to major in computer science. At this time, I was seeing like all the things you could do with it, what you would learn, the different you know programming languages, um, the theory behind it, the knowledge, all of that. And I wasn't even thinking about money. I wasn't thinking about competition. I wasn't thinking about how pretty much everybody wants to do computer science. I wasn't thinking about none of that. So, like I've said in a couple of my videos, I didn't have any experience coming into college um, being a computer science major a really really difficult major I didn't have any experience in coding and you know I didn't know any programming languages or anything like that everything was learned from my freshman year up until this point and I remember my freshman year when I took an intro to Python course and I was just studying like after class I was just studying for it learning about it and I was just like yo this is really for me like everything about it was like so it just like clicked in my brain like oh like this is what code is, this is how you do this. You know, it's crazy because that doesn't happen to a lot of people. A lot of people go into college and they're like, you know, let me explore, I'm gonna figure out what I actually want to do. But for me, it was like I came into college with intentions. Like this is what I wanna do, this is the route I wanna take. And I came into college wanting to do computer science, but I got accepted into UCI as undeclared. So that was a whole nother long route that I had to sort of um, well, not long route, but difficult route in order to get to where I wanted to be right now. And I have a whole video on that if you guys want to check that out where I talk about how I switched from undeclared to computer science. Um, that was a whole process within itself, but I knew this is what I'm going to do. Like nothing could stop me. This is what I'm doing at the end of the day. So fast forward to today, I honestly feel like I've learned so much and I feel like I've been able to apply um, a lot of what I know into the things that I'm doing right now. And I feel like I have so much more to learn. Like if I want to be that person that I actually dream of, um, if I'm trying to be the Zim the dream, that I'm actually thinking of, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. And I was just talking to my sister about that the other day, like I have so much more that I wanna do um, and I'm just getting started with it. So I'm really excited, you know, that I have this internship coming up with Amazon during the summer because it's an opportunity for me to learn more and to just better my programming um, experience and just my skills as a whole. So I said this in my last video, but as I learn, um, I keep trying to share everything that I learned for anybody out there who's trying to do the same thing, trying to be on the same path, trying to be a software engineer as well. So it's just like I'm just recycling the information. I get information and I give it out and I get and I give it out and I'm sharing my experiences and I'm sharing my journey um, in hopes to, you know, motivate, inspire anybody out there who's trying to do what I'm doing. You know, we could do it together. You know what I'm saying? But it's looking like the internship will be in Seattle and I'm really excited about that because I'm gonna take y'all, you already know I'm finna just, just grab the camera and then we could go on the whole vlog and all of that, you know, and I could share with you guys my experience that I face at Amazon, you know, and things that I learned and how does that integrate into my life and what I want to do in the future of becoming a software engineer and helping people. But I'm really excited to be doing everything and to see where this journey takes me. So that is pretty much it. I wanted this to be very short and I'm probably going to update you guys, you know, along as I go along my journey. But, you know, I'm constantly sharing stuff. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 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 We have a new video on this channel. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that post notification. And I'll see you guys in my next video on Wednesday. Peace out.